All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, the most merciful. The best of his peace and blessings shall be bestowed upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon those that follow his footsteps in the best of manners. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I come to you today with a message of hope. A message of bright future. It is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trust in Him, our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our confidence to change the condition from what appeared to be a disaster coming our way. For the 
past 10 years, our community has been unfortunately singled out, has been put under the light in an unfair way. But we all know that such behavior was not a true Canadian behavior. We all belong to this great country and we love it. And we all know what it stands for. Inclusivity, justice, fairness, rejection of racism, and divisive policy. And alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we saw that happening before our eyes. Although, before Monday, and for many days and years, it did not look so bright. People were driven into fear. People were driven into despair to a point where people felt we're helpless, hopeless, powerless. We can't be part of change. <clears throat> but I want to remind you and share with you a great story from the Holy Quran. A great story from history to remind you as Muslims believing in the Holy Quran that despair has no room in our lives. Yes, we might feel weak. Yes, we might feel helpless. But we always remember that despair has no room in our lives. Because we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our sides. The best story to remind you, remind myself of, that coincides with the day of Ashura, the 10th day of the month of Muharram in the Islamic calendar. That we all know that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged all of us to fast this day. <laughs> because it is a great day. Because it's a day of hope, a day of victory, and above all, it's a day of trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The absolute trust despite of the visible problems, despite that the condition seems so impossible. But the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely prevail. And the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also means the trust in good people that will never perish. A lot of good people around us that believe in the same good values that we believe in. And those people that will never accept such behavior or acts of injustice and racism. The story we're about to study today, the story of Musa alayhi wa ala rasulina salatu wassalam. Nabiullah Musa, who went on a very difficult journey to deliver his people from tyranny and oppression and injustice and racism. He was sent to free the children of Israel to drive them out of Egypt. Why? Because as I said, because racism prevailed, because injustice dominated, Because intolerance became the norm. 
The story is long, but I want to focus on one simple incident. When Musa was ordered to take his people with him to cross from Egypt through Sinai, we all know that at one point there was no land, there was only water and sea. And they were walking on foot. They don't have vehicles. They never had the means that will save them or deliver them across the sea. That particular moment is humanly a moment of despair, is logically a moment of failure. Here is Musa alayhi salam and his brother Harun alayhi salam with his people, thousands of them, have the sea in front of them, and it doesn't stop there. They were followed by the army of Pharaoh. But Musa alayhi salam had something very special. Although he did not have the humanly physical means, no tools, no airplanes. But he knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, as we were informed in the Holy Quran, وَلَقَدْ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَسْرِي بِعِبَادِي فَاضْرِبْ لَهُمْ طَرِيقًا فَاضْرِبْ لَهُمْ طَرِيقًا فِي الْبَحْرِ يَبَسًا لَا تَخَافُ دَرَكًا وَلَا تَخْشَىٰ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Musa that take your people, take them with you, you will be delivered to safety on a hard land. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, do not fear <coughs> to be followed by your enemies. Do not fear your enemy, they're not going to get you. And here comes the test of Musa's confidence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised him, go ahead with this journey. It does seem difficult. It does seem humanly impossible. But I am beside you. In a different surah describing the same incident, when they reached the water, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us, فَلَمَّا تَرَاءَ الْجَمْعَانِ قَالَ أَصْحَابُ مُوسَىٰ When Musa a.s. reached his, the point of shore where the sea is, and they saw the army of Pharaoh following them, his people said what? إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ We're gone. That's it. The sea is in front of us and the enemy is behind us. They're going to come and get us. It's a black picture, no way out of it. But what did Musa السلام, replied? No, nay, they will not come to us. They will not get us. They will not reach us. Why? I have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's going to guide me. I don't know what to do. But I know that I have to do something. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them in the previous ayah that we mentioned, Do not worry, you'll be okay. And remember that these people just left Egypt, fleeing a very critical, dangerous condition, as described in the Holy Quran, وَإِذْ نَجَّيْنَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ يَسُومُونَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يُذَبِّحُونَ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَيَسْتَحْيُونَ نِسَاءَكُمْ وَفِي ذَلِكُمْ بَلَاءٌ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ عَظِيمٌ They had just left Egypt where their children were slaughtered. Very tough condition. They're being attacked to a point of murder. People coming out of that condition, you will naturally be in despair. You're afraid. You're worried. You're anxious, and then you hit a sea, 
and the army is behind you, you will naturally say, where are we going to go? But that's where faith is being tested, and that's where faith will prevail. Kalla inna ma'i rabbi sayyadeen. And I want to remind you all that we have been tested. Now, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, things were not as bad. Alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, and we trust things will never go as bad <coughs> as what happened to the children of Israel in Egypt. <coughs> However, there was fear. <coughs> People were threatened. People were uncomfortable. People felt intolerance. And in our day and time, <coughs> feeling this in such a great country like Canada, it hurts. It makes a lot of people worried. But I want to tell you something. For the past year, for those of you that know me and heard me speak before, I was encouraging everyone to move and just do your part. Participate. Engage. That's the most that we can do, but that's what's going to make it work. Because this is within your capability. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, you do what you have to do, and you leave the rest for me. And alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, our praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You've moved. The community moved. We engaged, we participated. And indeed, <coughs> alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, we believe that we're saved. We believe that the non-Canadian behavior is gone. We believe that intolerance and racism has no place in this country. We believe that there are a lot of good people that we respect and we want to work with. They all stood up against what I would call barbaric behavior. This is barbaric behavior. Intolerance is barbaric. Injustice is barbaric. <coughs> Racism is barbaric. And alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped us all in this great country to stand against us and get rid of such behavior. <coughs> Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the most important elements of success in everything we do is that solid heart that's full of hope and full of desire to succeed. And we all know that fear is the main cause of failures at every level, on a personal level, on a social level, on a political level. People that are driven with fear and full of fear will not be able to produce in their lives. So we always need to understand and learn how to keep our hearts strong. How to keep our hearts full of confidence. And for those of you people of faith, we know that our hearts are filled of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Creator, trusting Him, the Almighty, to always give us the solid, strong hearts that will reject fear and perform and produce under the worst of conditions. A famous story, 
narrated about Ali bin Abi Talib he was asked Man ashaddu jundillah Ali once was asked which one is the most powerful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he replied ten of them started with qala al-jibal the most powerful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are mountains because for you humans, when you look at a mountain, you will definitely think, wow, mashallah, what can affect a mountain? Because for us, size matters. But then he goes on saying, hadid." But iron is stronger than mountains. And indeed, in our days, we see trucks that are able to move a whole mountain, destroy a mountain and move it from one place to another. So mountains, then he said, iron is more stronger because it can destroy mountains. Then he said, الحديد, Fire is stronger than iron because it can melt it. Then he said, and water is stronger than fire because it put out fire. Then he said, Clouds are stronger than water because clouds bury, they bear water. So clouds are stronger than water. Then he said, Wind is stronger than clouds because it can push it away. Then he said, and humans are stronger than wind because you can take protection and protect yourself from wind. Then he said, When Naumu Yahlib ibn Adam, sleep is stronger than humans because it puts you out. Then he said, What's the strongest creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? الهم والهم يغلب النوم Anxiety, fear, despair would prevent you from sleeping. <coughs> so the most powerful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is الهم, is anxiety, is worry, is fear. It could really destroy a human being. And you will feel surprised to see some people are working diligently to drive people into despair and fear. It is destructive to the individual and destructive to the society. And it's something that we all should find. But for the people of faith, I say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, your shield against alham, your shield against anxiety, despair, and fear is your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His strength, his ultimate power, his love, his presence, that he will not allow it to continue. And if add to it your confidence and faith that there are a lot of good people, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, a lot of good people that will stand up against fear, will stand up against intolerance, and we are proud to have such fellow citizens working with us, and we're here working with them, with every human being that will promote the good values of respect and dignity and love for all. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us to be in such a great country. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this great country. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all people working to promote such good values. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us 
protect our children, protect all the weak ones across the globe. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always give us the power to stand up for the right things. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always give us the power to promote justice and to stand against any form of evil. اللهم لك تصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم عافنا في ديننا اللهم عافنا في دنيانا اللهم استر عوراتنا وآمن روعاتنا واحفظنا من بين يدينا ومن خلفنا وعن يميننا وشمائلنا ومن فوقنا ونعوذ بعظمتك أن نختال من تحتنا إنك على كل شيء قدير والله يأمركم بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباغي يعوذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله يذكركم واستغفروه يغفر لكم والله يعلم ما تصنعون